All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We are back with FSD version 12.3.6. And I'll activate here. But while Elon is talking about and hyping up version 12.4 and 12.5 and so on and so forth, uh, and specifically talking about potentially removing the, the steering wheel nag on 12.4, um, I thought we should address a problem that, you know, typically isn't a problem until it is a problem. And that is the fact that FSD and autopilot uh, praise itself for being able to be activated anywhere. And that is true. And that is the competitive advantage it has over its competitors that are in the market active today, which is they can be used anywhere. It doesn't have to be a pre-mapped road or certain section of the road. It can be activated anywhere, which is great. However, there are some areas that I've started to notice and that some commenters have brought to my attention uh, that present what's known as, what I like to call as uh, FSD dead zones. And these are places where FSD just does not work. Uh, and so much so that it will actually disable itself in those different scenarios. Now we caught a little bit of glimpse of that when we went to New York City, uh, whereby we actually uh, went through a specific uh, route going to the Lincoln Tunnel that the car just sort of crashed, the computer crashed. The second time it went past that same area, the car was coming up to a complete stop almost, like something was funky that was going on. But what I've discovered is that there are certain areas beyond that where the car will completely shut down FSD, tell you to take over the wheel no matter how you do it. So in this particular instance, Northeast in New Jersey, uh, there is an area called uh, Verona, Verona, New Jersey. And this particular area on uh, this, this town called Vernon, New Jersey, is a dead zone for FSD. Uh, if I can sort of point it out on the map here without getting yelled at, uh, I can show you that on this road, right around, I believe it's up here, right around here, right, uh, by this place called Verona Park, is a basically an FSD dead zone, whereby um, FSD will not work going uh, going up up the up the up the road or going down the road. FSD will just not work. It will actually disable itself, put the red steering wheel up, and tell you to take over because it just disables itself altogether. Which is a very very interesting scenario that a lot of people might not be aware of. So again, before Elon takes away the nag, which is a great thing, looking forward to that for many many years. Um, people should also be aware of again these dead zone areas where. They may exist, they may not exist. You don't know where you're going. You don't know you, you know how you're driving. And you'll come into this area where the car will completely disable itself. Now, maybe this might be fixed by that same update, but right now I'm not sure if it's map data or if it's the software itself, but when it hits a certain point in this road, it will actually disable. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the, 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 the features and benefits that FSD has to provide on the way there, showing it's great use cases, how good it is, how well it excels in certain uh, situations, these tight two lane roads where cars sort of hang over the edge of the road. That was always a problem, not a problem anymore. Does a great job slowing down, maneuvering around, even though it goes over the double yellow line as it should, humans would do that as well because there's no other space to go. So great stuff here by FSD. But again, just the cautionary tale here is the FSD dead zone. So if you guys have driven around anywhere uh, let, leave, leave a comment and let us know, you know, check in and see what areas in your town, in your location where you might have these dead zones where FSD just stops. Uh, because prior to that, there was actually um, areas where you could not enable FSD, where the steering wheel sort of doesn't even appear uh, to be able to activate it. And that's fine. Because even if even in those areas, you might have FSD on or autopilot on going into them and it would still work. Only if you disabled it and tried to re-enable it, it wouldn't work. But this is something truly unique, I think, in terms of FSD and autopilot where it just shuts off. It was about five minutes before we get there to that particular area. So we'll enjoy the ride until then. But FSD has been great. Good to see a lot of people uh, coming into it, trying out the trials, testing it out, buying subscriptions, uh, adopting it, adding more data to the fleet. Uh, effectively so it's great to see great to hear no major incidences so far which is great even from the major detractors who try to 
do everything they can to to prove this is not going to work. But this is uh, this has been pretty pretty impressive so far. Pretty impressive so far. So there's no u unique special anything here that I know of. There's no like major communication network, no satellites, no antennas, anything like that that would effectively impede the car in any way physically. So I'm not sure what it is that uh, causes some issues. It actually has to be in this right lane because it's a turn only lane. It realizes that now and it's slowing down. Let's see what's going to happen. I'll let it do its own thing. If it misses this uh, this lane, it can go around the back way. No problem, but right now it's in the turn only lane and we kind of have to go. Cause there are cars behind us. I'll take over on this one. FSD was in a turn only lane attempting to go straight. I'll re-engage, we'll go around the back way. Oops. Um, gee, blinker, stop. There we go. I was pressing it and the car was also turning it off at the same time. So we were missing each other in terms of the timing. So yeah, not a great, not a great show in there. And that, that's still an issue, known issue. Again, staging the incorrect lane. I've said it a million times. Other people have said it a million times. It needs to do better there where it needs to stage the correct lane in order to, uh, to, to make certain maneuvers and go certain directions. So it saw that it was so far in, it couldn't make the, the maneuver to turn into the right lane without standing there but it didn't even turn, stand there and put his turn signal on and attempt to get over. It just was uh, creeping forward a little bit. So that's not the right move to do. Make this turn nicely, please. Good job, a little close, but not terrible. So now we'll have an unprotected left to make onto uh, some pretty heavy duty traffic. Should be interesting. Also up a hill on an incline, so cresting this little hill and make trying to make this unprotected left. Not the easiest maneuver. Let's see if FSD is up to the task. But as we approach this dead zone, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm always keen to see if there's any awkward behavior that gives me an indication that the dead zone is coming or if it just comes out of nowhere. For my test, it just comes out of nowhere. No indicators, early indicators or signs. Great job here no indicators or signs to let us know. So two more lights and then there's the dead zone. It will immediately tell me to take over and shut down. That one, this one, and then the next one is where it uh, something weird happens. And I'll keep my hand on the wheel, on the yoke, just to show that it's not a, so it doesn't give me a strike, but it definitely shuts down completely and tells me to take over and gives me the flashing sign here so here we go coming up to where the cars are parked there i'm not sure the exact point but it will completely shut down there it is see that see that shuts down this is the dead zone i'm not sure what's going on here map wise i don't see anything here i see no large antennas i see no satellite dishes i see nothing that would impede its ability to go straight here but it shuts down and I don't have the wheel, so I can't re-enable it until I pass this certain zone. So I'm going to proceed straight. The truck is here, so I'll get over to this lane. But once I pass this zone right here, this intersection right here effectively, I can then re-enable. So the blinkers are not auto turning off. So here we go. Pass this little town center. So now I reactivate. So the visualization comes back up and now I can reactivate FSD. See that? So there is a, a literal dead zone in this area. I'm not sure what it is about this area right here that is a dead zone for FSD. So if anybody has um, a scenario like this where they've noticed this, uh, definitely make it known. I think people need to understand this, especially as we start to remove the nag. People start to just focus on using their eye tracking, which is great but they need to be able to take over because the car will relinquish control after the after the prompt goes off. After the red steering wheel goes off, it turns everything off. So you have to get control back from uh, the car. So you need to be able to do that. So 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I just wanted to point this out really quickly. Quick video, quick shout out to uh, to the commenter. I, I do forget his name. I apologize. I'll post it on the screen here. Um, but that, that brought this to our attention. But going this way and going back the other way, it's a dead zone. It, it'll actually happen. So if you have any areas like that in your, your area, your town, post it in the comments. Let's get some attention to it for Tesla to be able to fix. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.